Hello pineapples, welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I am filming one of my all time favorite videos to watch. Um, it's a what's in my bag. I adore these videos because A, I love purses. If you've not gathered that from a couple of my videos, um, I am a purse freak. I think we all have our thing, whether it be makeup, shoes, bags, like we all have that thing and purses happen to be mine. But I love, love, love seeing what people carry. I'm just super nosy. Um, and also, like, it kind of brings me back to my middle school days where we would have our little mud purses that we'd got from uh, Kohl's or Limited 2. And then we would transfer it to the person to our right and we would dig through each other's bags. So I don't know if everybody did that or if that was just something that me and my weirdo friends would do. Let's get into the video and more importantly, let's get into the bag. This is a Longchamp Le Pliage Cure. So it is this shockingly awesome yellow color. It has these handles and it has this crossbody strap. It is detachable. This pineapple key charm, like you guys should all be surprised, uh, was separate. It did not come with the bag. I purchased that off of Amazon. So if you are interested, I will link you the palm below. I purchased this bag on the site called The Real Real. Um, these are authenticated designer bags. I love that site. Um, it's just, it's, it's so uh, affordable, I think, especially if you have a designer bag problem like I do. I truly am a slut for a designer bag. I just adore them. So a lot of the bags are what the cool kids call pre-loved. And so they're all used bags. You can get new with tags if you want new with tags, but um, this one was purchased pre-loved. Uh, they will tell you the condition of the bag, whether it be excellent, no signs of wear, to fair, and there is signs of wear. This one was very good condition, and truthfully, guys, like, to me, it looks brand new. Honest to God, like, I didn't see any issues with the bag whatsoever. So, I really love it, and I think what I like the most about the Real Real is the fact that you can actually break down the price of the bag into payments per month at an interest-free uh, payment, so same as cash. But like I said, the Real Real has such amazing prices that I mean 70% off of the, what the designer cost was. So I definitely really love it. I really suggest you guys go check it out. And it is not just purses, it is shoes, it is clothes, um, it's everything. So definitely, definitely recommend that site. Let's get into the bag. Um, Full disclosure, I carry my life on me at all times, so you might want to go grab yourself a drink and a snack because we're going to be here for a little while, okay? Okay. This, guys, is a Mary Poppins bag. It's just amazing. It holds everything, and it's got this, like, brown interior with the Longchamp logo. All right. Let's see. I'll just start digging things out. All right, guys. First is a book. I carry a book with me at all times. Uh, you just never know when you're going to be stuck somewhere and you, you know, want to pull out a book and read. So I'm currently reading Helter Skelter, uh, The Manson Murders. I don't really know a lot about this case, so I was super um, surprised and very uh, excited to get this for Christmas. Next, guys, my cell phone. Yes, uh, I have. I think it's the iPhone 10X. It's also a pineapple case. Uh, this is noteworthy, guys, because it's like has an attached like pouch. And I thought this was so stupid at first. Like I bought it for the pineapple, and I was like, I don't know, like if I'm ever gonna use this. It is so handy, guys. I keep a chapstick in there. Um, I keep some notes, and I keep a charger, and I keep headphones. It is so convenient. Next, guys. Um, is my little pouch. This is a Patricia Nash pouch. I just carry kind of like purse essentials in here, like more like um, toiletry items. I don't really wear a ton of makeup, so I don't really ever carry it on me. A lot of, I'll just show you because it's not a ton. So first and foremost, I have Clinique Moisturizer. I'm actually just trying this one out. Um, I bought a sample at Ulta yesterday, so I'm very, very excited to give this a try. I'm obsessed with skin products. Um, my skin is super dry, so I tend to carry moisturizer on me all the time. Um, let's see, then, guys, this is like such a cool product. So it looks like this, it's super tiny, kind of looks like a lipstick, right? Well, you take it off, you flick it, and you shave your little mustache. Isn't that great? Come on, ladies. I do this shit at work. Okay, and then you can get your uni brow, 
I love it. And then there's a light too on it, so you can see all those little nasty hairs that are trying to hide. Next, guys, in this little pouch, I have secret deodorant. I really want to find a good natural deodorant, guys, and I have just yet to find one that works for me. So I know this is probably not the greatest go-to in terms of deodorant choices, but really, truly, it's the only one that works for me because everything else either doesn't keep me dry or worse, I tend to then smell with body odor and no one wants that. Next in here is my Boudreaux's butt paste. This has made a run favorite video for me, but guys, like, I actually, so I also suffer from eczema on my face of all places. It's very annoying, it's very upsetting, um, and I could not find a product that worked. I had tried Cetaphil, Syrah, all of those things, and they just didn't work. This one, though, guys, has only six ingredients, and the main one being castor oil. There's no alcohol in this product. And the way I figured, if it was good enough for a baby's butt, it had to be pretty decent for my face. And my eczema is largely on my chin when it breaks out, and it gets red, it gets dry, and it gets itchy and flaky. I will put this on, and overnight, guys, it takes the eczema away so I think I'm gonna do a whole separate video on my skincare products but this I never leave the house without this even if I'm going to a smaller bag and I'm going out for the night this still makes the cut in terms of what I carry all right next okay guys so this is a little like bag and I knotted it so they don't fall out I'll try and get it open so I'll open it up because they used to kind of fall out so that's why I did that but these are all the little stones and each one um, does something for your energy. I actually got these two years ago when I was in London and I'm really kind of into that stuff. Um, I'm really actually sort of superstitious too. So um, no matter what bag I use, they always come with me and the bag itself is supposed to be good luck as well. And I just always carry it on me and uh, each one has like um, a certain like energy that it gives off and I just I really like it so I always carry this little guy on me voila all right next I have a little mirror it is from Hot Topic it's a little mermaid mirror I love this it's got two sides um, Ooh, that's right but it's got like a magnified side and a normal side um i have a burt's bees coconut pear chapstick uh this is a really nice chapstick it's not my go-to um i usually use a dr dan's quarter balm uh lip balm but this isn't bad tied to go pen because i'm a slop Excedrin because I'm prone to a lot of headaches. And last but not least, guys, tweezers for those like man hairs that I just really want to get at the root. So there was that. All right, next, guys. It's a hot water bottle. I actually watched uh, Emma Watson's um, What's in My Bag from Vogue, and she carried a hot water bottle and explained that she's always cold. Uh, I'm always cold. I literally think I have a problem. But when she goes like on airplanes, she has the flight attendants fill this up with hot water. And while I don't travel enough to make it so that it's an airplane usage thing and that's why I carry it, um, I actually carry this with me to work because they don't have a heater at work. I think my office is a perpetual freezer and I put hot water in this. I do it two times a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon. And I put this on my back and I wrap myself in the Snuggie and it keeps me super warm. So that's why I have it. I love it. And I figured if I ever go to a friend's house, I have friends who like to keep their house at temperatures that are uncomfortably cold. And instead of asking them to heat the house, I'll just ask them for hot water. All right, next guys is my iPad. I just have like an iPad two I think it's kind of old um I don't really care though it does what it needs to do I'm not super like crazy with it I'm really trying to switch over to uh like digital notes and reminders so that's why I'm really trying to make use out of this and as much as I always 
love a paper book at the same time it's very nice to have an ebook option too um, so I can read two books at once and not have to carry two books at once so I have the Kindle app on here I don't really use iBooks and um, it, it's awesome it's very convenient next guys is my wallet I just have a fossil fox wallet um, I am not a fan. I well, I can't say I'm not a fan. I uh, used to carry a large, large wallet, but I just feel like I don't need all those cards on me. And this one has just enough slots. Uh, I think it's really convenient. It's got the clear thing for my license, and yeah, it's just enough for me. So it definitely works. I like it, and I got it on sale on Black Friday. Okay, random hair band uh, my W2 I throw stuff in my bag and I need to be far more organized. This is my Neutrogena Hydro Boost uh, SPF 50. I wear sunscreen all the time. You literally, ladies, gents, you must wear sunscreen no matter if, like the time. Everybody's like, it's not summer. You want your skin to look youthful for forever? Well, not for forever, but you know what I mean. Help your skin remain as youthful as you can. Put sunscreen on. Next, guys, is my little cat pouch. Um, I actually, I'm ridiculous with bobby pins, so I, write, I try and keep these all in like one compartment, and that's just what it is. It's bobby pins and hair ties. I have a problem. Okay, so this is a bag full of half-eaten uh, mint dark chocolate Kit Kat. King size, because if you're not buying the king size, you're doing yourself a disfavor. These are amazing. I love them. They're so freaking good. Guys, if you like mint Girl Scout cookies, you will love these. Next. I have a um, perfume that I bought like a long time ago, like two, so many years ago, I don't like, it's embarrassing. Um, I just kind of threw it in here because I took the perfume I had in here out and I put this in and I don't even love it, so I'll probably take it out. Yeah. Ooh, guys, I just bought these today. They're the Sugar Bear Hair, Skin and Nail Gummy Vitamins. First off, these are delicious. It's very exciting that you can only have two a day. But simultaneously, it is upsetting that you have to have two a day. These suckers are expensive. You want a full, like, container, jar, whatever, no. bottle. bottle. If you want a full bottle of them, $30, and you have to have two a day, and there's only 30 pills to a full bottle, meaning you get 15 servings. So you're spending, like, $60 a month on these vitamins. So I bought the sample. I'm gonna see how they work. I'm sure I won't get that much results in a sample pack, but I wanted to give them a try because like they're like the craze, but they taste delicious, so I'll say that. Next, uh, oh, it's, so, it's gross too, it's like dirty. Anyway, guys, this is my Flint uh, lint roller. I love this thing. Um, I have a Husky and I have a German Shepherd mix and between the two I'm covered in hair all the time um, and I like to wear darker colors usually especially to work and I literally get there um, covered I look like a, a Yeti that's awful um, so sick of having to buy like the rollers all the time. I found this on Amazon and it's probably the best $10 I've ever spent in my life. I highly recommend this. Um, but when it's done, you take this off and you throw it away and it's literally, you just buy replacements. I, I really do adore this product. So much so, I will link it for you down below. Next guys, we're actually getting to the end. I'm so proud of myself. I didn't think this, I thought this was gonna take a lot longer. Okay, next, I just bought this yesterday. I wanted an Ulta. I, guys, my girlfriend took me to Cooper's Hawk yesterday where I proceeded to get tipsy and then we went to Ulta. So I was tipsy shopping, which is not good because I spend way more money than I need to. Anyway, um, this is a Hello Kitty Macaron Lip Balm. 
It smells really good. Um, I'm a supper, supper. I'm a sucker for lip product uh, as long as well as skin products and I just saw this I love Hello Kitty she's so freaking cute so I decided to get it is it my favorite no but I like it it's cute whatever I don't care next I do carry one makeup product is the Lancome mascara guys this mascara is the best I used to use it when I was younger I stopped buying it was at Ulta again yesterday, tipsy, so I justified purchasing it. Um, it is kind of on the pricey side. I'm usually a cover girl mascara kind of girl, but um, I forgot how much I loved this product. I forgot how worth it it is. I love it. Next, guys. We have a tampon because I'm a female and I bleed, so yeah. Oh, I forgot the candles are on. Whoops. Um, we have a Starbucks wrapper we have a receipt for maki of japan it was not for me it was for dj let's see we have a pen it has a little diamond on it it was free when you signed up for a hallmark rewards card which is also free so i got a free pen next we're really coming to the end i'm so happy um okay i just got this it's that banana cream i like the smell i like the little bottle i think it's super cute um I'll be honest with you, I don't understand the hype of it, because like I feel like everybody carries it. Um, like I said, it's it's good, but I don't, I don't think it's great. I, I don't think I would repurchase. That's it for the larger compartment. There is, I don't feel like I showed you guys, shame on me. There is a zipper compartment and there's like two little compartments here. One for like a pen and one a larger size. So this one has, it's called Cashmere Woods. It's by the Bath and Body Works. I love the Bath and Body Works. It's from Bath and Body Works, but I was gifted it for Christmas by my friend. Um, I love these little hand lotions. These things are the best. Um, and this one smells really good. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, I have an iPhone charger. Uh, yet again, another lips to chapstick because I can't be without it. Okay, next guys, this is also really cool. I got this for Christmas, so it looks like, I don't know, the size of a tampon. But you open it, it's a straw. How cool is that? So it's like a portable straw because, you know, we should all be saving the turtles. Last compartment, guys. Oh, I didn't even know I had this in here. See what happens when you clean out your bag? This is the Longchamp card. Again, did not even realize it was in here. Uh, I wore lipstick out yesterday. I know I can't even believe it, but my all-time favorite lipstick, as I am a huge fan of the reds, is the Mary Kay, I think, what is it called? Midnight Red. I can't say enough about it. Go find a local Mary Kay, like, person and buy this. Last, guys, I do wear glasses because I am blind. Um, but these are my glasses. Yes. They're Ray-Bans. I bought them on GlassesUSA.com because I can't be bothered to be, you know, in public and go to an eye doctor. So I got my prescription from the last time I did go to the eye doctor because the prescription didn't change. I just wanted new lenses. And now I have these. Anyway, guys, that is what I carry in my bag. Um, yeah, and it, little, it folds. So I love it. It holds an absolute ton. I think it's just a really nice size. I love that it is wider versus uh, deeper. I find that when the totes are really tall, um, I throw things in and I can't seem to find them. So I don't like the fact that I have to go digging, but with this, um, I just think that everything is so visible right when you look in it. And I just really love the bag. And like I said, guys, I'll link it down below. Check out the Real Real, especially if you love designer handbags. They have so many different designers on here. Um, so whatever you're looking for, I'm sure they will have. And I just think they make things very affordable. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one.